than that, mate. Desperate not to. Make much of a finger, though, don't yeah. you? <laughs> you going for a run tomorrow? No, oh, come on. on. No, you know, I really fancied it tomorrow. <laughs> I was going to join it. Well, you want to watch me from your balcony? <laughs> I've got no problem with that. I'll cheer you on. I reckon I'll be a good cheerer. It's about not pissed you out there going up another sea from it. You are. I'm telling you, you get them out of a night, yeah, your missus must think Jesus is in the room, light oh, up yeah. the light. You want to see the women running in the other direction. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> Thank you, David. <laughs> Rob, congratulations, you're into the last eight of the UK Open here in Minehead. Sum up your day for us. I think, um, uh, do you know, earlier in the day, Josh Rock, absolute brilliant the way he started. He was he was special and he probably brought brought the best out of me today, you know, with the hundred and five and yeah, I wanted to stamp the authority on it obviously, but I love the boy and the boy's learning. I think um do you know when he's when he's gonna but look, he's already disciplined, but when he gets it right, he's gonna be winning titles. But um yeah, it was my day today and then tonight. King didn't really play too well. We had a chat about it afterwards. He's another young lad. Um but yeah, still a 98 and trying to force it, being ruthless, it's unusual for me. That run of legs that you put together to beat Josh, is that the best version of Rob Cross we've seen in a long time? Because that was almost unplayable. I think Thursday you watched a little bit better and, and I'm more settled just in life now, just, just being at home. I know I've probably come in, took an interview with you the other week and had a little rant and, and other stuff, but look, it's, I'm really enjoying darts, but it's, darts ain't my problem at the minute. It's sitting on bean bags and not finding your shower gel and not finding your pants, but I've actually found them this week, so um, yeah, ten times better. <laughs> Looking ahead to, to, to tomorrow, big, big day ahead. Is it the mentality of literally just one game at a time and not overlooking what's in front of you? One game at a time, but I will have to do what I've done all week. and. Um, I've been pretty ruthless this week. I've been harsh on myself. I've been trying to get better out when people ain't performing against you. It's going to be a lot different tomorrow. Obviously, only eight players left in it. The best eight players what will be left. And um, I'm sure I have to perform at a higher rate or, or higher average or whatever. But um, now the game's in a different place at the minute. I believe I can beat anyone in the world. I'm here to win. I took an interview three weeks ago and I don't want to make the numbers up anymore. I want to try and get the best out of me. And, if I can do that, then happy days, you know, because there's more, 100%. Is this the best version of Rob Cross that we've seen then? Forget the one that won the World Championship right now. Is this the best version, complete version of you we've seen? I actually, if I change, change the question, I reckon Headspace and other stuff I'm wanting it. I'm more hungry now than what I was even when I won the World Championship. That's what I would say. Would I say it's the best version? Probably not. It's not as smooth sometimes when I want it. In the, in the dark throw, but when you want stuff and you, you're willing to go out there and, you know, it's, it's more, sometimes it's more like a boxing match, you know, it's either you or them. And um, I want it, I want it desperately now. That's where I'm at. Rob, congratulations. Cheers. Rob, you've entered this tournament as a riders qualifier in the past and you've entered it as a world champion. Is there a difference between the two and does the open draw make a difference? I mean, as a riders qualifier, obviously you could draw anyone anyway. But when you are a high ranked player, does does it, is it almost worth that first match you can get Michael Van Gerwen, Luke Letter, Luke Humphreys, or do you, do you do you like it, the unpredictability? I think I like the unpredictable sort of side of it. I think um, I think look, we look, yeah, there's great players out there. Luke's changing the game, and he's he's absolute great for the game. You know, I'm I'm not bitter about that. I think it's amazing what he's doing. What I would say, the difference, but. Well, probably be between a Riley's qualifier and, and a world champion. One, one your skin, and then the other one you're rich, you know. And that's great, isn't it? But um, no, it changed my life, obviously. But um, I, I love the format. I love, I love the unpredictable side of the tournament. I think it's exciting. Even if I was a fan, you know, you never know what's coming out. We've probably got 20 minutes now, and I get my next draw, and, and we don't know what's coming. Um, to where I sit in the mental space at the minute, I don't care either. I'll play Humphreys tomorrow, I'll play Little, I'll, I'll give it my best and yeah, I'll go 100 plus. I won't own up to what number over that.
but I'll go 100 plus and um, yeah, I think I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go back in. I feel really good. So far in this tournament, you've got three legs for every leg your opponents once. It's been a walk in the park almost for you so far, hasn't it? I love that stuff. Do you know, yeah, you can give me more of that every week. But um, look, they're all great players, and, and I suppose sort of the Josh game a little bit different. The 1 3 2, big finishes, change games. But um, look, they're all gone now, and they're in the past. It's all about tomorrow. Get a good night's kip and, and wake up tomorrow and put my best foot forward. If I do that, then I think I've got a great chance. I really do. And you're hoping it's a long day tomorrow, and you've got so much experience at that here, play championship finals two European Championships, Grand Slam final as well. Do you think that's going to be a real advantage that you will have over some of the other guys left in the tournament? Yeah, I suppose so. Look, experience is priceless. It's the same what I defied the odds when I first started, because everyone was more experienced than me. But um, I think since then, it's been a long road. It's been a big learning curve and, and doing stuff differently. You learn off the likes of Peter Wright, Van Gerwen, all the top boys, you know. and. I've even had to do that, so even being a world champion, I don't think it's probably anyone in the game who's had a greater height of learning. But I've done me learning, and yeah, I feel brilliant at the minute. I can't lie, I still, I can still play another game tonight, you know. So um, yeah, energy levels are good and all. Good job, thank you. Cheers. Uh, congrats, Rob. Thank you. It, so far on this tournament, you've gone relatively under the radar. Obviously, you're the only Premier League player not to get on the main stage, reaching this point. Has that took an element of pressure off your shoulders, or...? No, nah, not really, you know. It's, it, if you look at the World Championship, I think, um, obviously before Premier League, but I played in the afternoons, I was asked a similar question. It doesn't bother me, I'm here to do a job, I'm here to feed my family, I'm here to, to do myself proud, you know. Whether I'm out there or whether I'm up there, we're on the same money, and that's all what matters, you know. It's, it's not about anything else. Um, do you know what, yeah, put me out in the car park if you need to. But um, no, just just get out of there, just get enjoy it, embrace it. And you know, look, this, this, this UK Open is really, really different because you got, it's an opportunity. It was an opportunity for me when I come in and, and that's where it sits, you know, people can earn, people can hit different heights and, and greatness and it certainly under my eyes, so. Look, I'm very fond of this tournament, and yeah, like I said, put me out in the car park. <laughs> going in, uh, going into tomorrow, um, a lot of media titles and broadcasters are already talking about a potential Luke Luke final again. Does that make you even more hungrier to upset what what they're trying to predict? Or no, not really. You know, you do your job, you be professional. Not being rude, um, look, if I play each one of them, I've got to back myself, and that's what I will do. There's no backing down there. I think I'm playing darts to compete with anyone at the minute, um, especially when I'm pushed and I'm hungry again. And look, we'll just move on tomorrow. we we'll see how it breaks down. And if I walk away with it, then yeah, I won't be speaking about Luke and Luke. <laughs> exactly. You've obviously been performing well on the past two weeks in the Premier League stage, so. Are you the man to go on and lift this trophy? I believe I can. Obviously, things have got to fall right. You always need a bit of luck, and every dart player has to get that. But at the same time, to the way I've started and all the games, it's been less drama for me. I think if I played the UK Open three weeks, I would have made things a little bit harder, you know? Maybe even lost. Um, turned a corner, feel great, and just move on tomorrow. This is what it's all about. You put your best foot forward toe-to-toe -to -toe with whoever you play and yeah if I come out a winner I have an even bigger smile than now. <laughs>